Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this video we are going to see how to make this beautiful doily pattern. So size of this doily is, you can see the diameter is about 15.5 inches. So 15.5 which is about 39 centimeter. And for making this doily I have used 4 ply acrylic yarn in this bright red color. So here you can see the thickness of this yarn. Here is the label. So I have used this ruby 4 ply yarn which is a 100% acrylic yarn. So in US term you can also call this fingering weight yarn or size 1 yarn. So crochet hook I have used a 3 millimeter crochet hook for this project which is size 5. So this is a very simple project. So let's get started. First we are going to make a magic circle. And in this magic circle, we are going to work 12 single crochet. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So we have 12 single crochets in this first round. I am going to pull this yarn tail and close the circle. Now we will make a slip stitch on top of this first single crochet. So here insert your hook and make a slip stitch and finish this round. So that is the first round. For the next round I am going to chain 1. Work a single crochet into the same stitch. Then I am going to chain 3, 2, 3 and work another single crochet into the next stitch. Then again chain 3, single crochet into the next stitch. Again chain 3 and single crochet into the next stitch and chain 3 and single crochet into the next stitch chain 3 single crochet in the next stitch so like this we will continue and I'll meet you here at this end so here I'm near the end I have made single crochet now I'm going to chain 3 Work a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet that we made. So make a slip stitch. So that's our round 2. So for the next round, I am going to make a slip stitch into this chain 3 space. Like this. Then we are going to chain 3. Work 2 more double crochets. 1 and 2. Like this. So we have 3 double crochets including the first chain 3. Then chain 5 and work 3 double crochets into the next chain 3 space. So here work 3 double crochets. One, two and 3. Again chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and work 3 double crochets into the next space. 1, 2, 3. Then again chain 5, 3, 4, 5 then 3 double crochets into the next space. 1, 2 and 
3. So like this we are going to repeat the same pattern around and finish this round in here. So here I am near the end of this round. So here instead of chain 5 I am going to chain 2 and work one double crochet on top of this first chain 3. So here we will work a double crochet and finish this round. So for the next round we will chain 1 work a single crochet into the same space so like this then chain 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 then we will work a single crochet into the next space here and again chain 6 3 4 5 6 and single crochet into the next chain 5 space again chain 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 and single crochet into the next space again chain 6 4 5 6 and single crochet into the next chain 5 space then again chain 6 4 5 6 and single crochet into the next space so like this we are going to continue the same pattern i'll meet you here at the end so here I am near the end of this round. So I am going to make a slip stitch on top of this first single crochet that we made and finish this round. So that's the end of this round. So for the next round I am going to slip stitch into this chain 6 space and I will chain 3 which counts as a double crochet. Then we will work 5 double crochets into the same space. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now here we have 6 double crochets including the first chain 3. Then chain 1. And work 6 double crochets into this next chain 6 space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And again we will repeat the same chain 1 and 6 double crochets into the next space. 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Chain 1, then again 6 double crochets into the next space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and 6. So like this we are going to repeat the same pattern around and finish this in here. So here I have finished this round. Make a slip stitch on top of the first chain 3. For the next round chain 3 and work one double crochet into the next stitch then we will chain one we will skip the next two stitches and work one double crochet into the next two one and two then we will chain three work one single crochet in this chain one space so single crochet then again we will chain 3 work one double crochet in the first two stitches 1 and 2 then we will chain 1 skip two stitches and work one double crochet into the third and fourth stitch 1 and 2 then again we will chain 3 single crochet into the 
chain one space again chain three one double crochet in the first two stitches one two then we will chain one skip two stitches double crochet in the third and fourth stitch then chain three one two three single crochet in the chain one space then again chain three double crochet in the first two stitches one and two then chain one skip two then double crochet in the next two stitches one and two so then we will repeat this same pattern and finish this round in here so here I have finished this round so for the next round I'm going to make a slip stitch into the next stitch and slip stitch into this chain one space then we will start from here we will chain chain 10 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 then we are going to make a single crochet into the next chain one space in here so make a single crochet then again chain 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 then work a single crochet into the next chain one space here again chain 10 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 then single crochet into the next chain one space then again chain 10 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 then single crochet into the next chain one space so like this we are going to continue and finish this round so here I here I am at the end of this round I have made chain 10 now I'm going to make a slip stitch on top of this first chain 1 so this base chain I'm going to make a slip stitch and finish this round for the next round slip stitch into this chain 10 space then chain 3 which counts as a double crochet then work 8 more double crochets into the same space 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so including the first chain 3 we have 9 double crochets again we will repeat 9 double crochets into the next space 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 again 9 double crochets into the next space 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so like this we will work 9 double crochets into every chain 10 space so we'll work around and finish this round in here so here i have finished this round by making a slip stitch on top of the first chain 3 then for the next round again chain 3 
and work one double crochet into the next eight stitches. So that's double crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eight. Then we will chain one before this space. We will chain one and work one double crochet on top of the next nine double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. Then we are going to chain one and work the next nine double crochets. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Then chain one and we will repeat the same pattern. So I'm going to finish this round in here. So here I have finished this round. So for the next round, I'm going to chain 2 and work 1 double crochet into the same stitch so this chain 2 and double crochet counts as 2 double crochet together then chain 1 skip 1 stitch and work 1 double crochet into the next 5 stitches 1 2 3, 4 and 5. Then we are going to chain 1, skip 1 stitch and into the next stitch we are going to work 2 double crochet together. So 1 and 2 pull through all loops. So that is a 2 double crochet together then chain 3 and we will repeat the same so skip the chain 1 and into the first stitch let's make 2 double crochet together 1 and 2 then again chain 1 skip 1 stitch and work 1 double crochet into the next 5 stitches so 1 2 3, 4, 5, then again chain 1, skip 1 stitch and work 2 double crochet together into the next stitch and 2, pull through 3 loops, then we will chain 3 and repeat the same, work 2 double crochet together into the first stitch, 1, and two together then chain one skip one stitch one double crochet into the next five stitches one two three four five then chain one skip the next stitch and work two double crochet together into the next and two then chain three we will continue the same pattern so i'm going to work around and finish this round 
so here I have finished this round so for the next round I'm going to make a slip stitch into this chain one space and start from here so chain two and work one double crochet into the same space which counts as a two double crochet together then we will chain one skip the first stitch and work one double crochet into the next three one two and three then we will chain one skip the next stitch and work two double crochet together in the chain one space so two then we are going to chain five one two three four and five now we are going to skip this part and work in this chain one space we will work two double crochet together so one and two pull through all loops then we will chain one skip one stitch double crochet into the next three stitches one two three then chain one skip the next stitch and work two double crochet together into the chain one space and two then we will chain five again three four five work two double crochet together into this next chain one space here one and two then chain one skip one stitch double crochet into the next three stitches one two three then chain one skip the last stitch and work two double crochet together into this chain one space one and two then we will chain five and continue this same pattern around and finish this round in here so here I have finished this round so let's start the next round for that I'm going to make a slip stitch into this chain one space then we will chain two and work one double crochet into the same space so this counts as two double crochet together then we will chain one skip one stitch and double crochet into this second stitch then again chain one skip one stitch and into the chain one space make two double crochet together one and two then we are going to chain five three four five single crochet in this chain five space of the previous round single crochet then again we will chain five two three four five then we are going to work in this chain one space we will make two double crochet together so one and two then chain one skip one stitch and double crochet into the next stitch then again chain one skip one stitch and make two double crochet together into the chain one space this two double crochet together then we will chain five three four and five then we will single crochet in this chain five space then again we will chain five three four five then into this chain one space we will work two double crochets together one and two then chain one skip one stitch double crochet into the next stitch again chain one skip one stitch and work two double crochets together into the next stitch one and two then we will chain five single crochet into this 
piece then again chain 5 3 4 5 and into the next chain one space we will work two double crochet together so like this we are going to continue this same pattern around and finish this round in here so here I have finished this round so for the next round I'm going to make a slip stitch into this chain one space here we will chain two and work one double crochet into the same space so this counts as two double crochets together then we are going to chain one skip the next stitch and work two double crochet together into the next space one and two then we will chain five two three four five work a single crochet into this chain five space so single crochet then again chain five three four five single crochet into the next space here then again chain five two three four five then we are going to go into this chain one space here and work two double crochets together so one and two then we will chain one skip the next stitch and work two double crochets together into the next chain one space and two then we will chain five three four five work a single crochet into this chain five space then again chain five three four five and single crochet into the next chain five space chain five two three four five then we will work two double crochets together in this chain one space here one and two then we will chain one two double crochet together into the next chain one space one and two and then we will chain five and continue this same pattern around and finish this round in here so here i have finished this round so for the next round i'm going to slip stitch into this chain one space here then we'll start here chain two and work one double crochet into the same space so this counts as two double crochets together then chain 5 3 4 5 single crochet into this next chain 5 space then again chain 5 1 2 3 4 5 single crochet into this next space then again chain 5 1 2 3 4 5 single crochet into the next chain 5 space then again chain 5 1 2 3 4 5 and then in this chain 1 space here we will work two double crochet together so 1 and 2 so we are going to repeat this so chain 5 3 4 5 single crochet into the chain 5 space in chain 5 4 5 single crochet into the next space chain 5 single crochet into the next space in chain 5 1 2 3 4 5 and into this chain one space we will work two double crochet together one and two so we are going to continue this same pattern around and finish this off in here i'll meet you here at this end 
so here I'm near the end of this round so I have not finished it yet so here instead of last chain 5 we will chain 2 and we will work a double crochet on top of this first two double crochet together here work a double crochet and finish this round so next round we are going to start in here for that chain 6 and single crochet into the next space again chain 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 and single crochet into the next space again chain 6 3 4 5 6 and single crochet into the next space 1 2 3 4 5 6 and single crochet into the next space so like this we are going to continue around i will meet you here at this end so here i am near the end so instead of last chain 6 i am going to chain 3 and work 1 double crochet into the chain 1 here we will make a double crochet into the first chain and finish this round the next round also similar to the last round we will chain 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 single crochet into the next space again chain 6 3 4 5 6 and single crochet into the next space again chain 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 and single crochet into the next space so like this i'm going to continue and finish this round and also i'm going to repeat one more round in this same pattern that is chain six and single crochet so i'm going to finish these two rounds and i'll meet you there so here i have finished two more rounds of chain six and single crochet so for the next round it is also similar here we are going to chain 7 2 3 4 5 6 7 and single crochet into the next space again chain 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and single crochet into the next space again chain 7 3 4 5 6 7 and single crochet into the next space in 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 single crochet into the next space so like this we are going to continue and finish this round and we will do one more round in this same pattern that is chain 7 and single crochet so I'm going to finish these two rounds and I'll meet you there. So here I have finished two rounds of chain 7. So now we are going to work with our last final round. So for that I'm going to chain 1 and work a single crochet into the same space. Then we are going to work three double crochets into the next space. So 1, 2 and 3. Then we will chain 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We are going to make a picot by inserting our hook in these two side loops and make a single crochet like this. And we will work three more double crochets into the same place. Two and three. So here we are going to repeat this pattern. So we will single crochet into the next space. Then we will work three double crochets into the next space. One. 
3 then chain 5 make a picot by making a single crochet into these two side loops here and work 3 more double crochets into the same space 1 2 and 3 then single crochet into the next space then work 3 double crochets into the next one 1 2 and 3 then chain 5 picot by making a single crochet into these two side loops then work 3 more double crochets into the same space 1 2 and 3 then single crochet into the next space then again 3 double crochets into the next one so here my yarn is a little stretchy so if you are using a yarn which is little thick like cotton yarn and all you can make 4 double crochets picot and 4 double crochets instead of 3 double crochets so that your work won't get much curled up so if 3 double crochet is fine you can stick with 3 double crochets so here I am repeating the same pattern 1 2 3 double crochets then chain 5 picot by making a single crochet then work 3 more double crochets into the same space then single crochet into the next space so like this we are going to repeat around and finish this round in here so here I am at the end of this round I am going to make a slip stitch on top of this first single crochet that we made in here and finish this round so I am going to chain 1 cut off the yarn and pull the yarn through so I am going to hide all the yarn tails and our doily is now ready so our beautiful doily pattern is now ready I hope you guys like this video tutorial so hit the like button share with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you guys bye bye